Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's your purchase and pricing email question line. For buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or our social media, reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing the model launched in 2019. This is the Grand Seiko Spring Drive GMT SBGE248, stainless steel and yellow gold with some sapphire mixed in. It is an impressive spring drive dual time. Easy to mount despite its 44 millimeter case size. You can see on my wrist, 16 centimeter circumference. This one wears a treat. 44 millimeters in diameter by 14.7 millimeters thick. It's not as thick as it looks. It'll slide underneath the jacket cuff, if not the tightest of dress sleeves. It's a big watch, but not an overpowering watch. 50.4 millimeters lug to lug, 52.5 millimeters solid end link to solid end link. And the spacing between the lugs is 21 millimeters, so it's a nice match for the size of the case. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters in circumference. Now the bracelet's handsome, substantial, nicely finished, well matched to the case. As you can see, three link design, polished intermediates, a bevel on the edge, you can see polished outer faces, primaries in satin, and then the removable links, since this is a steel Grand Seiko bracelet, not one of their titanium bracelets, we have removable links fixed by screws. You have a half link on each side of the clasp, to make sizing a little bit easier. There's also a set of divots inside the clasp that allow you to change the anchoring point of the bracelet for fine tuning. Close it all up. It is a swing arm design with twin trigger release, so you have to press the triggers to open it up. It can't accidentally pop open, and there is a yellow gold medallion built into the clasp. The case features Grand Seiko's Zeratsu tin plate finish. A spinning tin plate on a Zalitz machine is used as the milling surface. An artisan holds the case directly against that surface to create this optically smooth, distortion-free, mirrored shine. It is hand finishing, and it is a technique that requires about three years to learn to mastery. So you're getting a hand finished watch here at far below the price of a Swiss hand finished equivalent. Satin finished lugs on the hoods, there's a transitional bevel, and then you can see the case has a little bit of tumble home, or inverse tumble home, so it thins out toward its base. The bezel features both satin finish and polish. If you note, there are two facets. The top one's polished, the lateral one is satin finished. The knurling is sharp, and easy to grip. Let's hear the bezel. It has one of the best tents for a bi-directional bezel I've ever experienced. Now it's also fully loomed. It has a blue base. It's capped by a sapphire, like a Blancpain 50 Fathoms, which gives it a wonderful impression of lustrous depth and protects the loom from scratches. The dial is metallic blue with yellow gold accents. There are lots of yellow gold accents. You can also see there's a inner chimney inboard of the bezel that is yellow gold. The watch is loomed. It is a power reserve indicator, a three-day power reserve, automatic winding. You can see spring drive, continuous smooth sweep of the seconds hand. It never starts or stops. It just scrolls continuously accurate to plus or minus 15 seconds a month. Now you have that second time zone and you can see there's a 24 hour scale inboard on a Ray Hawk. And then you have the bezel, which can be used to calculate a third time zone if you set the 24 hour hand to Greenwich Mean Time. Now the watch includes, and I'm gonna unscrew the crown, 200 meters water resistant by the way. There is a hacking or stop seconds function. And then there is a function that allows you to move the local hour hand. This is great for traveling because you can see the watch doesn't stop and none of the other hands are disrupted. East, west, it doesn't matter. You can change the date in either direction with no hazard. The power reserve indicator traces three days of automatic winding power reserve. And then you can see the case back is solid. And that's the reason this is a 200 meter Grand Seiko instead of a 100 meter. But you're getting caliber 9R66, which is spring drive, meaning all the motion, all the energy comes from the spring. There are no capacitors, no batteries, no motors, and yet you have quartz precision because it activates a quartz oscillator with an induced electrical current, and an induced magnetic force will slow the spring drive system if it's running too fast, or it will ebb and speed the system up if it is running too slow. It is extraordinarily accurate, and it is unique to Grand Seiko. This is a watchmaker built, watchmaker regulated, and when the time comes, a watchmaker serviced timepiece that is hand finished externally, hand built and regulated from a movement standpoint. And then on the dial, all of these yellow gold hands, logos and indices are crafted by artisans who only create these pieces for Grand Seiko. You've got two independent time zones, you've got precision, swimmability, and a ton of loom. This is a very versatile and rich all around complicated sports watch. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.
And we're back with the Grand Seiko Spring Drive GMT. You can see the fully loomed bezel, as well as the loomed second time zone on the dial.